Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter 1.0. Okay, so I have uh, built a few extra living compartments uh, in between episodes, but other than that, I haven't done much else. I did put a, a grass spreader up here. Now the grass spreader is pretty cool because it gives you oxygen. Uh, it's not massive. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of oxygen. It does use quite a bit of energy though, um, but it also gives you plants. Okay, so yeah, not very much. But it does, so we're going to have to probably get some more power soon, because that would have used up quite a bit. Yep, we are close to the edge. However, we are also getting fairly close to the T1 nuclear reactor. All right, our terraformation is going really well. The objective for this episode is to get as far as we can. Uh, there, there are a few things that we need to upgrade. We need to get more of the tier 3 drills. We need the tier 3 heaters. So there's, there's a fair bit to do. So let's get stuck in. All right, first things first, uh, we have received a couple of messages and the first one's from Riley. I managed to obtain more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. Okay, we know. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can, end of communication, message intercepted. Ooh, intercepted by Sentinel, no doubt. Okay, your planet specifications, identification, unnamed, corporation ownership, unclaimed, have our sectors, Ezekiel Prime, history unknown, planets unnamed is located in the Ezekiel Prime sector. A pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships traveling between big spaceports. The sector has 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. The planet's been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. Well, thank you, Sentinel. That was uh, useful information. Right. So we we unlocked a uh, advanced crafting station, for which we need some stuff. So let me go and collect that. I do have a bit of aluminium on me. Oh my, we've also unlocked the launch, pad, uh, the launch pad, but I'm thinking that I should probably get more power before I do anything else because we're really short of it. But so the next thing we're actually going to build is the crafting station after the new solar panel. And the crafting station uses 12.5 energy. <laughs> yep, we definitely need that new solar panel. And I just need to grab one more silicon. I have to say, this place is starting to look better already. Look at that, we, we have some clouds. So we're going to stick a uh, uh, advanced crafting station around the corner. Right there. And it shows us what we can make with it. There's the tier 4 backpack. Super alloys. And the tier 4 oxygen tank. Well, I know that I've found uh, super alloys. Okay, maybe I should go and fetch some. Because obviously at this point, uh, at this point super alloys become quite important. And most importantly... We have the tier one jetpack. Now that's where our movement around the map starts picking up a gear. We have a mission for this episode. Super alloys. Iridium rods. All right, I'm, I'm going to head up the hill because I think I'm going to find a lot of the stuff that I need up there. Okay, in the message they mentioned ice. This is the ice they were talking about and that starts melting at 100 nano kelvins. I don't think I'm anywhere near yet. All right, let's see what we've got in our boxes. Super alloys, got those. Yes, nice. Um, yeah, I'll take that back with me. I've got some fabric. Don't know if I need it, but a super alloy. Maybe I'll take a Lerma back with me as well. Another super alloy, some more uranium. All right, that's that's cool. I think most of what I'm looking for might actually be in the in the aluminium area. One important thing to note in this game is the, the blue crates. Uh, not all of them are set. Um, they are set once you open them. But if you leave them and you don't open them till later in the game, you get uh, the stage-related resources as opposed to simple resources that we would get out of them now. So sometimes it's better not to open all the chests. Anywho, let's, uh, let's see. What did we need for the backpack? Just a titanium, and there we've got nuclear power. Ooh. All right, let's go and have a look at what that means for us. All right, so 
Whereas the tier 2 solar panel did 19.5 energy, this does 86.5. It's massive. And I have almost everything on me to do it right now, but I need the bigger backpack in order to go and get more stuff to do it, so I can't do it right now. Let me go grab a titanium. Tier 4 backpack. Sorted. Okay, now I'm out of super alloys, so I have to go and get some more. Let's leave all of this stuff behind. I'm going to head out to the aluminium area because I have a chest there which I think has quite a lot of stuff in it. And there is another golden chest in that area that we can go and pick up. Maybe there'll be some nice stuff in there. All right, so if we're coming into the aluminium area, we're going to head around the back. So kind of the northern side of it. And there's a chest over here that has some useful stuff in it. Do I need food? Yeah, no, I'll just eat that. Oh. We're going to carry on walking. Keep looking that way then we come to this big rock and there's a little cave over here somewhere there it is another golden chest and that has some stuff that we need again i'll leave the effigy we'll come back and we'll do a whole bunch of those at once when we have space to store them oh look aluminium and we've unlocked a flower pot blueprint right what have we got in this locker all the stuff that we really really need i'll grab some more of that uh, what's going to be more important? I don't know. Iridium, yes, because of the, the heaters. But uranium for the power. And generally, aluminium is good. And we've got a blueprint for... Heck, what was that? I missed it. I think it's a pinning blueprint. It's one of the new ones. Let's just take the aluminium. All right, so we've got what we can carry. Let's head back. But we're back. We're still ticking like crazy. Uh, we don't have much power, but that problem will soon be solved. Let's see. What do we need for this? We need iridium rods, and I think I've only got one. I need two for the jetpack. Super alloys. How many do I have on me? I have quite a few. I could make another iridium rod. Okay, let's drop that off. We'll drop those off. Oops, I need that. I think I need six of those. I don't know how much aluminium I need. Just pop that in there for now. And okay, we're going to make another... Oop. Didn't take enough iridium. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so we'll take some iridium. Now, before I do that, do I have enough uranium? I have a uranium rod. Oh, I do have some. Okay, cool. Well, that looks like it'll work out quite nicely. So we need one more iridium rod. Then we can do two of those. And if I get a titanium, I'll have a jetpack. I have everything. So, jetpack on. Now that's cool. That's very cool. Let me see what I need for one of these. I need super alloys. So three of those. I need a uranium rod and a couple of waters. I might need to get some ice. All right, but check this out. I can now fly. And it's so much faster. Fantastic. I love the jetpack. It is so cool. Anyway, let's make some water. And let's... Uh, we'll just sort of carry on with the power area. This will not be our final power area, but we can put power here anyway. First nuclear reactor. 86 kilowatts of power let's go and see what that does to our power 94 available awesome okay good so we're gonna have to start replacing all of the solar panels but yeah we'll leave them for now so we did get a message a message from convict gp 8971 why to whoever receives this message i'm a planet crafter sent to megoria three planet if you've received this, it means you're new. Maybe you're a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough on this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can help me, please do. Shame, dude. It would be nice if you had sent your proper name. Anywho, so, as you can see, they are terraforming many planets. We are climbing and uh, we are 63% towards rain. So that's good. And we actually have some food grown here. So we can pick it up and it will carry on growing. 
And that is food value 25. The space food was food value 40. So that restores 40. I assume the bar down here is 100. So this would restore a quarter of it. This would re restore 40%. All right, let's see. What else have we unlocked? Not much. Oh, yes, this. Okay. I need three super alloys. I think that means I'm heading to another wreck. Have some water. Now we're pretty close to it, so I don't know if I should take a container. Probably should. Right, I'll just pop it outside. Right over there. And throw a door on. Grab some oxygen. I should probably also maybe get a chest out here. So it's another three iron. Apologies, not a chest, a locker. I'll just pop that in right next to the door. Yeah, good. I'm ready to head in. Torch on. And we go. Yeah, this torch is terrible. But it's okay. Uh, there we go. We'll need that. Definitely. What have we got in here? We got tree seeds and a loma. These have a 200% multiplier. Those will become handy. I'm probably going to come and fetch all of this stuff later on anyway. Cool. Another chest. More fabric. Oh, now we're starting, starting to get squash. Nice. Okay, uh, food. Don't need. Iridium do need. And deconstruct that. More stuff to deconstruct. Oh, look, there's a heater we can deconstruct. So we might as well. Uh, more aluminium, more squash. Squash is good. Another chip. Oh, that's important. That's good. And another chip over here. Good, good. All right, not really that much in this. Uh, I'm able to carry pretty much all of it. So I'll just top up my oxygen and head back. Right, we are back. Uh, let's get our chips sorted out. We've got three of them. Okay, mining speed tier three. A recycling machine. And a lamp blueprint. Nice, I suppose. All right, uh, I do want to get, uh, what was it? Yep, oxygen tank tier four. Get the super alloys out of here. Boom. Okay, so now we have 370. We can go so far with our jetpack and the huge amount of oxygen that we have. Okay, but right now our heat is lagging. So probably an idea to build a heater, a tier three heater. And I have an iridium rod, do I? Mm, gosh, I, maybe I don't. Let's clear out some inventory quickly. Okay, I should be able to make an iridium rod. There we go. Cool. Um, What else do I need for it? I've got everything else. So, like I said, tier three cannot go outside. It has to go inside, and these are pretty big. So they're going to take up a lot of space. But they do work quite well. That means I could probably break down a few of these. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. We are doing pretty well. And we are very quickly approaching 1 MTI or 1000 KTI. Okay, so yeah, that was the one that we unlocked earlier. The pinning microchip. That just allows you to pin recipes. Uh, tier 4 heaters coming at some point. Well, it's quite a long way down the road. Biodome. Okay, we need to get to 100 nano kelvin. I think that is also the point at which the ice at the top at the top wreck uh, starts melting. So we'll be able to get in there. And ore extractors. That's going to be important. And uh, we are two thirds of the way there. So that's cool. We'll start getting that done as well. So maybe we should put a little bit of emphasis into pressure. Tier three drills. So I'm going to break another one of these down. Oh, the water collector. That's very, very important. Let's get a tier three. That's cool. Okay, atmospheric water collector. What do we need for that? And I think I've just spent everything. Uh, yeah, I just did. That's a pity. Maybe I can find some more super alloys close by. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. We're going to top up my food and water. I'll just eat that and drink that. 
Right, so this little area here, the maze or the labyrinth, well, okay, that has it has some secrets and it has things like aluminium and stuff lying around. Ooh, that's nice. I'll grab the food. Cool. Um, but up on the ledge at the top, if I can get up there, oh, I can't, I can. Oh, nice, I can. Yeah, I can actually reach there. That's cool. If we run around here, there is, uh, over here, you will find some super alloy. I don't need much, but there's also aluminium, which is always valuable. Or super alloy. So this is a fairly good place to get your super alloy from early on, when you are in a bind. And these edges go all the way around, so there's plenty of space to go and find the super alloy. There's, there's not... It, it is limited, but you can find what you need. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to take for now, and I'll head back. Right, let's have a look at what else we need for for the atmospheric water collector. Just the regular stuff. Iron, silicon, magnesium, and cobalt. Okay, I think I have everything that I need for it. I do. We're just going to pop it out over here for now. Yep. And this will just passively collect bottles of water. Nifty. We might get a second one, but not immediately. We do, we, you know, as a single player... If I was playing co-op, I'd probably get more of them, but I uh, don't really need that much water right now. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of those seven solar panels over time. I'm thinking maybe I should put another nuclear reactor in. Could do it. I literally just need one more water. Okay. Looks like a storm is coming in. Just a regular dust storm, is it? Okay, let's put down a second reactor... There we go. Now we've got loads of power, which means that I could break down some of these. Hmm. Ah, storage full. Ooh. I don't really want to lose the aluminium. Right, we also need some food growers, um, because we've got squashes now as well, so it would be good to grow them. At least get started on them. So I will put one down over here and and find where i put the squashes there they are and we can pop the squash in there cool so we've got two food growers growing stuff now this one has uh no it's not quite finished yet these tier ones do take a very long time but what i want to check out right now is the rocket launcher so we need three titanium three iron Oh, folks, look at this. We have our first strain. Oh, and we over one MTI. Cool. All right, so I've got everything that I need for the rocket launcher. I don't know where I'm going to put it down yet. Let's see how much water we've got. Oh, look at that. I could use one of those. Cool. And it'll store four. So that's that's quite nice. I don't know, I'm thinking this area here might be good for the rocket launcher. Let's have a look. Kind of works, doesn't it? There you go. That's our launch pad. Now this is pretty cool because uh, you will get rockets that will give you a thousand percent bonus on whatever metric you are targeting. So, uh, heat multiplier, one thousand percent. Pressure multiplier, one thousand percent. And there's going to be a lot more rockets coming along, but. The nice thing about these is they also drop uh, meteor showers with... This one drops uh, uranium asteroids, and this one drops iridium asteroids. So if you find yourself running a bit short, you can just pop up a couple of those rockets and your problems are solved. But in order to get those, you need rocket engines and they need all sorts of stuff. So probably the first one you want to do is the uranium if you're going to do one, because that will, that will bring you uranium, which means that you can then do... Uh, you can make more rocket engines. The day is beautiful. We have a launch pad. Progress is doing very, very well. And we are 13.9% to liquid water. The heater needs oxygen. We are sort of getting there, but it's going to take a long time. Uh, we are almost at the biodome. Uh, pressure's 140. Oh, we're, we're very close to ore extractors. And then... Also, yeah, we're working our way towards the tier 5 backpack. So I think there's one thing I, I can show everybody. 
while we are still concentrating around this area and we can advance the story a little bit if you head down in this direction there is a nah i'm not sure exactly i can't remember exactly where it is but you need your destruct tool and you can deconstruct this and there's a little cave in here and if you come around the corner someone didn't survive who are you you sent me here to die you knew it was impossible you don't even care all you care about is profit and colonization whoever thought this was a good idea should go to hell a pardon was never part of the plan be cursed sentinel corp Zyodan. that was two years ago shame poor guy rock fell on him and he didn't make it anyway what have you got bro Ooh, look at all this nice stuff we definitely need iridium rods super alloys there are so many seeds and things a blueprint microchip pulsar quartz those are very nice to have this early uh yep we'll take we'll take whatever we can there are flower seeds and there are food seeds which are also very important i'll just take whatever i can fit right now i'll drop a loma seed off and we've unlocked the biodome that means that we can start getting bio stuff done so what do we need for that biodome uh yeah lots of super alloy which i don't have right now i'm just going to drop stuff in containers and we do have a chip that we can decode and that gives us a gps satellite tier one gps satellite that is very useful because it will help you find a way because uh, we haven't actually unlocked the map chip have we no just the compass Oh boy, I was just start collecting stuff and we've got the, the ore extractor tier 1. But I think uh, it's, it's going to be important that we get a little bit of uranium in. So the uranium mines are really far away. So if we want to do it, we're going to need a rocket. So I have enough stuff for a rocket. But then we're also going to need a super alloy and let me go and check the recipe for the uranium rocket. The uranium, yeah, it is the cobalt so i'll just grab one more cobalt and we can launch our first rocket all right there it is in all its glory on the launch pad and all we have to do is push this button and we have liftoff right so that is going to trigger a storm and that storm is going to be uh Lots of these asteroids with uranium. <laughs> Straight for the launch pad, nice. Alright, we're going to hide from this and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, the storm is done. And sometimes this is easier to do when it's dark, but uh, we will fly around and there will be piles of uranium lying around, which we can pick up and used to advance ourselves i see there's some right on top of the platform as well that was a direct hit i feel like i was being attacked anyway there are a few others around uh, i will collect them because we'll probably need more power so you can never have too much power and we've got some water so i'll grab the water turn some of that uranium into a rod and go and build ourselves another reactor that means i can finally get rid of the last of those solar panels cool all right that's that done i'll have to come back around here and pick up stuff at some point especially the aluminium i actually want that uh, but i'm full okay well we've we've uh, advanced pretty well uh i did get the biodome which i haven't built uh, it's not too difficult i think i have most of the stuff although i uh, might be a bit short on super alloy at the moment yeah i am i'm gonna have to go and get some i've only got one left but we've advanced really well. Uh, we have liquid water. We have rain. And uh, soon things are going to start changing quite a bit. I think maybe between episodes, I'm just going to pick up the uranium that I found around and maybe do a couple of other little bits and pieces. Maybe go and fetch some more super alloy up at the top. But that is where we're going to leave it. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know how you play this game. Uh if you play this game at all. Otherwise, let me know if you're enjoying the series. So thank you very much for joining me and until next time, cheers.